beautiful people welcome back if you're new welcome welcome so we're gonna do a blind review or a blind reaction to this article on reality blurb having to do with the real housewives of salt lake city monica garcia and jen shaw and lisa barlow because if you don't remember last um last season where one of the ladies no, the ladies were trying to figure out who was reality Vontees only to find out that it was their castmate Monica who was the assistant to Jen Shaw who's now serving time in prison and they brought her onto the show. So we're going to read this article from Reality Blurb and give our reaction at the same time. So we are in the new season of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I believe it was season five, I believe it is. Yeah. Um... So let's read. So it says, it, the title says, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Monica Garcia, leaks text from Lisa Barlow about Jen Shaw's fraud case. Claims she was up in the mess too. And claps back at her interview, comments, plus threatens to expose her involvement with investigators. Okay. All right, that seems a little bit much. Let's read in so it might clear it up a little bit more as we're reading along. So the article says, Monica Garcia leaked a series of text messages exchanged with Lisa Barlow on her Instagram story on Wednesday, accusing her former co-star of being involved in the fraud case against Jen Shaw. What? As Jen, 51, sits in prison awaiting her December 2027 release date, the 40-year-old former Real Housewives of Salt Lake City cast member is attempting to incriminate Lisa, 49, for being in contact with prosecutors while also accusing her of performative outrage and suggesting that she wasn't in the dark about Jen's wrongdoings. Oh my God. If you guys remember on the Sprinter van when they came to arrest Jen and she wasn't there and we have Lisa jumping on her phone and calling all seven of her attorneys like she said she had to. It's like, do I need to call somebody? Do I need to call my attorneys? Was she panicking at that time? Because according to this, Monica is saying that she was part of all of that fraud stuff with, with um, Jen. Let's see if they break it down and um, lay it out for us because I'm not understanding how. Okay. So we go on to read this. These are the text messages. Now I think, did you send this to prosecutors? Lisa asked in a text as Monica revealed Jen had received 6.5 years in prison. That it Lisa, that's it. Lisa replied. I'm not sure what that is. Then after Monica confirmed the sentence, Lisa said, Jen doesn't think she has victims. Yeah, and we all were saying that because of the way she was behaving. Monica proceeded to inform Lisa that she sent something to the prosecutors as Lisa twice texted. It's insane. Along with the sharing of the text messages on her Instagram story, Monica posted a message which said, what we're not gonna do anymore is keep on pretending like you wasn't all up in the mess too. Oh my God, that's Monica talking to Lisa. I've been talking, I've, I've been taking all the blame and you keep adding to it with lies and it's enough in caps. Dragging me in every interview you do, I haven't posted half of what I got. You painting me out to be a liar has got to stop, she added. Oh, wow. Uh, let me see. In the second Instagram story, Monica pointed out that the messages were exchanged in January of 2023, one month before the cast began filming season four. Open your eyes, she demanded as she accused Lisa of performative outrage. Also on Instagram, Monica shared a clip from Lisa's recent interview with Entertainment Tonight, during which she was asked if Monica or Jen betrayal taught her more about friendship. Monica's, I feel like Jen, as toxic as Jen's behavior could be, I feel like Monica pretended to be something she wasn't in every capacity. And I feel like the fact that she could be nice to our faces while saying the worst things behind our backs, like detrimental things, perpetrating lies. I feel like you have to be extra devious to do that, Lisa shared. 
she wants to pretend to be this hero in the situation where she's like, oh my gosh, I helped to expose Jen. She did not. She was volunteering to be a witness. She was never called to be a witness. She was calling them to volunteer to be a witness when she didn't get what she wanted from Jen. It's devious. In the caption of the video she shared of Lisa, Monica reacted to Lisa's claims. I was pretending to be something I wasn't while you had a whole a criminal pretending to be someone she wasn't right under your nose and you didn't know it? She asked, as far as me being a witness, were you there? No, I was told I was being subpoenaed by the federal government if I refused to move forward. Don't speak on something you didn't have the balls to do yourself. The right thing for, for all of her victims and ones she defrauded. You know the elderly ones that you just laughed about. Monica then shared that Lisa allegedly planned to call investigators to get revenge on Jen. Also, let me drop the receipts of getting the investigators information so you could also call in yourself and walk and talk to them about what you knew if she didn't leave you alone. Devious, but you were right there with us, she stated. As referenced in the burn book, yet not shown, I would say things behind your backs Hmm, like you all do? Honey, you had the nastiest stuff to say behind your friend's back and thank goodness it is recorded for all of us to see. Monica went on to spotlight negative things that current cast has said about Lisa as she demanded she stop with the BS and suggested she loved the blog she was exposed for being involved with, Reality Von Tees. You love reality vontees and now you want to act like it bullied and tormented you. You know that it's a flat out lie. If that were actually true, you would have absolutely sent your cybersecurity team after us, but you didn't because you didn't need to because the page never bullied or tormented you and girl, you was a fan, she wrote. Oh shit. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, this is a big um, pose that Monica put up. Vicious is what you're doing, me, your lawyer, everything. Did I read this? Wait, I did I read that part already? Hold on, guys. Let me keep scrolling, because like I said, this is the first. Okay. Along with the clip from Lisa's interview, Monica shared two additional screenshots of text exchange with Lisa, one of which saw Lisa responded with a couple of heart emojis after Monica told her a prosecutor may be calling or texting her and another that mentioned a different prosecutor Monica was working with. I don't know if I'll send you anything, but if she keeps it up, then I will, Lisa wrote. The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Season 5. Okay, here's Tuesday night of Bravo. Okay, so these were, um, even though this article was posted recently, these text messages and back and forth um, stuff happened earlier this year. So yeah, I'm going to share the screenshot of things that Monica said. Screenshot of the text messages, a screenshot of Monica's rant. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can read it. It said, watch until the end. It's beyond obvious what's happening here at this point. Both of you saying my betrayal was worse than Jen. Really? Love how the interviewer caught that too. I was pretending to be something I wasn't while you had a whole... Okay, I, I read that already. So, yeah, that is just a reiteration of what... So, it seems like Monica is pissed off. She wants her name cleared. She wants her reputation to be back or just not as harsh as it is right now. And she is bringing Lisa with her. So, that's what we have to update. The, se the new season is on... Um, season 5 is airing now I think we're into episode 5 or 6 and I've been doing the review so make sure you click on the playlist and go and watch your reviews for all of them but I just wanted to give you some stuff that's going on in social media behind the scenes regarding these ladies so that is it if you are interested in reality TV reviews I also re review um, Real Housewives of Potomac Real Housewives of New York and, um, and Real Housewives of Salt Lake City those are my three so if you're interested in those, also go ahead and watch them. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, be sure to take care of yourselves and your families. Bye-bye. Remember to check out the links in the description. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.